Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games for Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we're going to be unboxing Radlands, the super deluxe edition by Roxley Games. Now there's going to be more than one box in here. I'm going to open it and we'll see what's in there, okay? Okay, so this is the inside of the box. So first of all, you can see Radlands is the first thing that comes out. I'm going to put this on the side and we'll take the bubble wrap off later. I also ordered in the Pledge Manager, I also ordered the limited edition of a Brass Birmingham Deluxe, which seems to be quite difficult to get out. I can get my hand in there. Oh, there you go. This is even bigger. <laughs> wow. All right. And that is it. That is what's in my box. Okay. So let me fix everything and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so these are the two games. Uh, in this video, I will be unboxing Radlands, and there'll be another video where I unbox Brass Birmingham Deluxe, okay? So let's now continue with Radlands, and at the end of the video, you have a link that will uh, show you the way to Brass Birmingham, okay? Let's go. Okay, so this is Radlands by Roxley Games. I'm a huge fan of Roxley Games, to be honest. I have so many games of them. I have a Super Motherload, I have Dice Throne, I have Steampunk Rally. Now, of course, Brass Birmingham as well. I have Radlands. I don't have Santorini. Not really my kind of game, to be honest. But most of the ones that they've actually released, I have. So anyway, Radlands. Let's take a look. First side of the game. Okay. Very cool. Nice. All right. Very slick in the back of the game so you can see you are a survivor 5759 out of 12,000 okay um, this game depicts some scenes of animated violence and may not be suitable for all audiences the top left you can also see two players 20 to 40 minutes and 14 plus okay all right so let's open this and see what's inside now, will there be art on the inside? I'm guessing yes, because it's such so nice. Maybe there will be. Yes, amazing, cool. Very, very, very nice art. Oh man, I love it when games do this. I really, really do. First, we get rid of this. Yep. And I missed the box, really. Okay. Anyway, you can see there's two mats and then the actual box in the middle. Let's take a look at the mats first, shall we? So I'm going to move this to the side for a second. Yep. Take one of the mats out. Is there an easy way to open this? Yes, the side. There you go. That is very nice. Okay. One, two, three. Water discard, draw a card, water silo, water silo, raiders, water supply, some locations. Cool. In the back. It's just like this, of course. So I put this up here, and then we'll check the second mat. I like it that games have started to put the mats in the boxes. I mean, Sanctuary did it, which is really nice. Uh, Twisted Fables did it, also really nice. I can hardly recommend both games. Oh, and this is also really cool. Obviously, it has the same stuff, okay. Alright, so now let's put the box back on top and let's continue. Now this, you can take it out. Anything underneath? No. No surprise, anything underneath the plastic. Some gamers do that, you know, but not this one. Alright, so I'm going to move this to the side again. This is heavy. This tiny little box is really heavy. So let's take a look. Front, Roxy, Daniel Pichnik, I guess. I might be saying this wrong. If so, I'm sorry, Daniel. Redlands, nice art, more Redlands. Yeah, the art is definitely a selling point for this one. What does it say? We rule. Yeah. I saw a creature naked bestial who, squatting upon the ground, held his heart in his hands and ate of it. I said, is it good, friend? It is bitter, bitter, he answered. But I like it because it is bitter. And because it is my heart, 
In the Desert by Stephen Crane. Anyway, cool. So two, 20 to 40 minutes, 14 plus. Art is really nice. Let's open this. Now there's a hole here, but I'm still gonna use my scissors real quickly to make it wider. You see this comes off really easily. So I can just do it and don't have to edit anything. This is magnetic, okay? See, magnetic, also always nice. And he loses his head. <laughs> I like, I like it, I like it. Okay, so immediately you can see, I don't really, know, don't really know what they mean by this. The Maybe that this is heads up, I don't know. Okay, so this is the first thing that comes out, easily for me anyway, and this is the rule book. It also has a learn to play video, roxy.com, Radlands. Okay, so let's take a look. There is a line here a bit. I guess it's production stuff. There's some lines. But well, anyway, it doesn't really bother me. So there is a, a comic, our tribe has water and they're coming for it. So we'll strike first. We thought if we hit hard enough, they'd go back home, but there's no home left. Okay, so rules of play. Version 1.13, so it's a living document. So the latest version is there. Hopefully I won't have to get too many recent versions. All right, so components, general setup, play area. Uh, you could say the manual is small, but at least it's not sanctuary. That has a tiny, tiny rule book. Okay, card types. Okay, play area. Effect icons. Turn sequence. Okay. Actions. All right. Camps FAQ, general FAQ, people FAQ. I guess FAQ show that it's been playtested enough, or at least a lot of times. Events FAQ using the official playmat, how to put everything everywhere. And then another one. What are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of this stony rubbish? Son of man, you cannot say or guess, for you know only a heap of broken images. Where the sun beats, and the dead tree gives no shelter, the cricket no relief, and the dry stone no sound of water. Only there is shadow under this red rock. Come in under the shadow of this red rock, and I will show you something different from either your shadow at morning striding behind you, or your shadow at evening rising to meet you. I will show you fear in a handful of dust. From the Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. So people who are not into poetry might get into poetry thanks to this game. Okay, so this goes in the side here. There's like a tiny little gap here, you see? where you put the rule book in. Okay, tiny, tiny. So you have to watch out that you don't accidentally you know, bend the pages or whatever. But it still seems to be fairly easy. All right, then I'm gonna take out the tokens first. Just gonna do it like this. There we go. Okay. All right, there's still one at the bottom. It's blocked by the rule book. Okay, so better take out the rule book and then take out the, uh, the token. There's one stuck. Okay, got it. Cool. Oh, there's another one stuck. Come on. All right. They're all out now. This can go. Now I made it. All right. So these are the tokens. As you can see, they're all double-sided. Okay. They all have the water and then a red line at the, well, pink line at the back. So let me do a little bit more, show it a little bit more up close, sorry. There we go. Feel really nice. Cool, quite cool. Happy with these. Okay, good production. Don't really see any... Some of them look a little bit... I don't know if you can see it. They're not perfectly smooth, I would say. I mean, they, they are smooth, but it, it seems like a lot of scratches on top of them. You know, like, like they've been handled quite a bit already, <laughs> which is a bit weird. But nevertheless, they feel nice. So, and I guess you could say, you know, you're in the you're in the rad lands, so everything is a bit worn. Now, I wonder about first first uh, first impression is I wonder about sleeves if they're going to fit in. And can you take this out? No, it's stuck. So you're not supposed to take these things out. It has art inside though. 
Maybe you are supposed to take your helmet. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't see why you would. Okay, so to see the art inside. I guess taking it out doesn't make much sense, to be honest. I don't see why you would. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at this deck of cards first. I was wondering how well will sleeves work? So if you put the card in, there's not a lot of rigging room. Rig wriggle room. I can try later with the sleeves and I'll let you know. I think the sleeves will have to be very tight in order for it to actually fit. Okay, so these are the turn sequences, the player aids, okay, and the effect icons. All right. So these would be the back of the cards. Two Raiders cards. So we're going to mostly look at the art, okay. Then we have two water towers. Yeah, water silos, sorry. And these are all the back of cards, they're just regular ones. So let's take a look at the arts. Okay, here we go. You have a rail gun, nice. Atomic garden, a cannon. This is so Borderlands, I love it. Pillbox, Scud launcher, a victory totem, we rule. Catapults. <laughs> Any card, then destroy one of your people. Okay. Nest of Spies. Command Post. Obelisk. Mercenary Camp. Reactor. The Octagon. Juggernaut. Scavenger Camp. Outpost. Transplant Lab. Resonator. Bonfire. Cash, Watchtower, Construction Yard, Adrenaline Lab, and I like there's no doubles, you know. Mulcher, Blood Bank, Arcade, Training Camp. <laughs> I like all these people basically hiding from people shooting. Supply Depot, Omen Clock, okay. Warehouse. A garage or a garage, oasis, parachute base, and a labor camp. Okay, so that's the first set of cards, first deck of cards that came out. Put these on the side, and like I said, I will do a um, sleeve test later on. See how that works. This is the second set, which is a lot thicker. Okay. So the box falls over if there's nothing in there. All right, so these are the people, I imagine. They're all people. Okay, these are the people that you can recruit. All right, or maybe just from the game. We'll see, I guess. So we have a looter, a wounded soldier, the cult leader, repair bots, Gunner, Assassin, Scientist, Mutant, Vigilante, Rescue Team, Muse, Mimic, Exterminator. Is this one car? This just seems a bit thicker. Oh, maybe. This is just me. It's not thicker. Scout, Pyromaniac. Holdout, Doomsayer, Rabble Rouser, Vanguard, Sniper, Interrogate, Truce, Uprising, Radiation, Famine, Napalm, <laughs> Strafe, Bombardment, High ground, banish, looter. Oh, we had that already. So you can see some of these cards have like different uh, corners and everything, right? So I guess these are different types. So I guess this will be the exact same as what we have just seen. All the way back to interrogate, truce, famine, napalm, strafe, moment. Yeah, they're all the same. So these are two different decks. And then we have the people because they have this icon here. We have Magnus Carve. Zito Khan, Vera Vosh, 
So I guess these are the, maybe you choose one at the beginning of the game. Like, I don't know the rules. I haven't checked. Carly Blaze, Mulgor Stang. <laughs> the eyes. the hell? All right. And is this like, this is a grenade, right? Okay, was it Nuke Any Camp? Argo Yeski. All right. So those are the six. They don't have a different back though, which is a bit strange. Okay. So that's actually already it. This is uh, the end of the unboxing. So I'm going to stop this part. I'm going to go find me some sleeves and I will test it. And you can see the art. There's art on the inside. And I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to take it out. Um, and this just means that you probably have to take the, put the tokens in like this. And not like this. They were in like this though, but I guess with sets of fours, would that make sense? Yeah, sets of fours make sense because there are 12 of them in total. So maybe it goes like this. Let's see if it works. And another four. Yeah, it works. There you go. So four, four, four goes. But you're. I think it's very difficult to take it out like this. You're going to have to, you know, flip it over and take it out like that. Okay, cool. Let me go find some sleeves, shall I? Shall, uh, shall I? Yes, that's the way you say it. Okay, so I can't do the sleeves test because I tried this size and it fits. But you can see it has definitely some space left on the top and on the side. If I do it like this, it most likely it doesn't fit, see? Only like this, but it's, it's too big. So these, the size that I, I used for this are the Sleeve King 63 and a half times 88, right? These fit, that's no problem. But if I try the 59, they are too small, okay? So it should be something in the middle, but I don't have any sleeves that are actually in the middle. So maybe a 61 would help or something, but you can see it doesn't fit, right? It's not that much of a difference. So maybe 61 would fit, but I imagine it would be very tight. So um, yeah, your results may vary, of course. But if somebody has it, somebody tries it, please let me know if it works or not. Um, I need to do my research as well to see if there's, if Sleeve Kings has something, because Sleeve Kings are the sleeves that I, well, they become my favorite sleeves, basically. But too bad I can't sleeve the game because I really like to sleeve the game. But once again, maybe it's just simply because I don't have the correct size at the moment. So 63 and a half is too wide. Okay, a little bit of info about the sleeves. I just checked the FAQ on the website and it says here, I don't know if you can actually see it, but will the box accommodate card sleeves? We do not, we do not expect card sleeves to be necessary for Radlands given the quality and durability of the synth cards. We are not expecting many backers to want to use sleeves after playing a game or two with them. So yeah, up to you if you want to sleeve it anyway or not. Uh, I wanted to because I just, I always sleeve. But yeah, the cards do look thick. So yeah, maybe it won't be necessary, who knows? I'll give it a couple of shots, give it a couple of games and uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, anyway, this was the Radlands unboxing. Okay, uh, my plan is to, as soon as possible, get a gameplay video up and uh, maybe an also how to play, even though how to play is already on uh, the website of Roxley. Anyway, so love this, love this, love this so much. But in the end, this is the game, Radlands. This was the unboxing. Thank you very much. And remember, if you want to watch the Brass Birmingham unboxing, uh, that will be on here as well. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.